no one believes me about this. I guess I've sort of lost my credibility. But okay, here's the truth. I woke up feeling fat and ugly and unlovable, and I had this feeling like I will never do anything that means anything. So I dressed like someone else. Badass 90s grunge. I even looked up a grunge makeup tutorial on YouTube. And once I was this unstoppable woman, Ramona I called her, I could go outside. It was night. Ramona loves night. She went to some shit music venue in downtown Syracuse. She wore a silk red cami with her black bra showing. The silk straps kept falling and Ramona didn't bother to readjust them. Fuck it if someone saw her shoulders. Lucky them. See, unlike me, Ramona has super toned arms. Not that she cares. She just knows. So she's at this shitty venue and it's just one square room with a bunch of 20-year-olds bobbing their heads in the shitty acoustics and dousing each other in natty light. The place is lame. She goes out for a cigarette. Ramona smokes. She doesn't bring cigarettes anywhere. She just knows she can always bum one. And there's this guy, cigarette in one hand, beer in the other, greasy, chin-length hair parted in the middle. She looks him head to toe and just holds her hand out. He hands her his beer, just like that. She takes a sip, hands it back, and holds her hand out again. This time he hands her the cigarette. Now, I would cough taking a deep drag like this, but Ramona, she doesn't cough. She breathes in the smoke like it's the first clean air her lungs have ever gotten. And the guy he laughs says, that's my kind of lady. Ramona, she tells him to fuck himself. You believe that? This guy gives her all this shit, and she up and tells him to fuck himself. He says whatever, turns to go back in, and Ramona, she says, wait. Yeah? Ever notice on shows when people die by falling off a building, they always land in that one position? Flat, arms and legs splayed, head twisted to the side. Actually, makes me feel weird. Why, Ramona says. Guy says, well, I sleep like that, in that position. Ramona looks at him, and Ramona never cries, but her eyes burn a little and her nose flares. Same. She grabs his wrist and pulls him into the alley behind the venue. He drops his beer, liquid fizz streaming onto asphalt. She slides the cigarette out from between his fingers and jams the ember into the side of his neck. Burning flesh. She just does it like it's nothing. He shoves her hand away and screams, Crazy bitch! And she says, Bend over and fuck me. Just like that. He just stares at her, all shocked, like they had some understanding and it's broken. And then, okay, suddenly Ramona's gone and it's just me in her slutty rock star clothes and dark lipstick. A toddler stumbling in my mother's high heels. I say, It could just be a Hollywood thing. What? People landing in that twisted position. Kind of like that fake movie combat standing neck crank thing. You see someone splayed in that position and you know, oh, she fell and broke her neck and now she's dead. Just like a storytelling technique. He stares at me and I feel embarrassed and suddenly scared. I bend to pick the beer can up. It's still cold. I press it against the burnt part of his neck and... He puts his hand over my hand to hold the beer can there. He kisses my forehead. He whispers, Ramona. Except she never told him her name.